that he can breathe. I have a little bit of water and one massive, well, we're not sure what species of frog he is. Pretty sure he's a plains leopard frog. But he may be a bullfrog. Let's find out. Well, we're not going to really find out, but let's take a look at him. You know, he's kind of clever. Well, I'm going to get a net here that I had on scene. Off scene. I'm going to quickly pop the lid off. I'm going to have to get a quick hold on this rock. There he is, the monster frog. Now you may notice, you know, look at right here, that area is his mouth. And you may notice, he's very fat. Look at that, very fat, but has a very small mouth. Now, there are tons and tons of grasshoppers that he could be eating. And I don't know if that's food or eggs. It's probably not eggs because it's fall. But, oh, why don't you lift the camera a little bit? And, whoa, whoa, trying to jump. But look at that. Most frogs have a completely white underside. This frog has a little bit of a gray speckling. He's a beautiful frog. Look at the side. He's got the orange, well, the chartreuse on him. Now you may be wondering, does this, how does this frog out get grip? He does not have claws, just in case you're wondering. He has these little grippy pads on his fingers. Let's see if I can give you a close up of that. And also on his back feet, hit this on his back feet, they go all the way back here. That's grippy. They're even grippier out front here. They're super grippy out here, right here. <clears throat> Anyways, but those allow him to, he's a very, he's very strong arms. I don't know how fat those arms are. He's very strong. He can dig. Um, he can also, uh, grip onto things very well with those. And he's, if you're wondering, he is a very good jumper. A very good swimmer at that. Look at those lead feet. That is what propels him through the water. Ooh, he's got even more trees on his that. Beautiful. But, normally the way you identify a plains leopard frog is they'll have two orangish yellow stripes that run right along here. So these will go right down here. I'm just gonna dip them in the water. I think. There we go. And they. What was I talking? Oh yeah, that's how you normally identify a leopard frog. And um, they're normally not this big. This is a very large one. Oh. Whoa, he's getting a little active. He's probably gonna shoot his legs out. Boop. Tell him about the eyes. Oh, yes, and the eyes of this frog sit up on the top of his head. Let me show you real quick. They have a nictitating membrane, kind of like cro crocodilians. Let me press his eye down real quick. See that kind of cloudy thing that covers his eye? That's the nictitating membrane. And so, Take him over here. That's how they. Well, that's one of the ways they can play. So we take him over here, put him in the pond, we skip him, don't want him to get away, and we could do that with the king of them. See, as you can see, it's coming off. There it is. Tell his eye. That's just a protective covering. See, now he took it off. Bring it back up. He needed a dip anyways. Is that another frog? Nope. 
Let's, okay. Let's release him back. Okay. Let's Ready? Just now? tell them that you're going to release him and then... We are going to put him back in the container because sadly this frog is getting a little bit too big to put back in my pond. I, as you can see, I've got some pretty small fish in my pond. And this guy is big enough that he would probably eat them. So, we are going to relocate him. Not that I can keep him from coming back, but we're going to do our best to relocate him in a spot that he won't really come back. But we still we do want frogs, just not this big of frogs until my fish get bigger. But, anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Callum's Backyard. Froggy food! Uh, we're here. one fat frog we're gonna release him in the creek now there's no trespassing down any farther so we're just gonna have to let him hopefully pop down into the creek